Hi and welcome to another NM Botronics tutorial. In this video we will be showing you the switch case and instead of writing if a variable equals this, else if it equals this, else if it equals this, else if it equals this, we're going to do a switch case. And a prime example of this is one of my kids built a robotic tank and I added to it and I, I made up an Android app and whenever I I have directions whenever I push forward it goes forward back left right stop and I also have an auto where it will be an obstacle avoidance uh, tank all by itself and when I do this from the Android app when I press forward let's say that it I send over a variable one or back a variable two or stop a variable zero this is an easy way to catch that number and do what you want it to do. So here, let's start right out. And we're gonna create a few variables here. We're gonna go string, uh, red light equals, uh, let's see, red. Now we're gonna do the, whoops. We're going to do the same thing, string, uh, green light, equals green, and another string, yellow light, equals yellow. Okay, and we're also going to create another variable, integer. Uh, num for number okay now in the setup we're going to need to uh, start up our serial port communication so we can go serial begin and 9600 and there we go now inside our loop we're going to generate a random number and assign it to num so num equals random int and we're just gonna have three three possible returns and that's it for our random number now we're gonna get down on the switch statement so here if it returns zero we're gonna assign it a value if it returns one or two we will be assigning values um, and there's also a default if you don't get one of those numbers that you thought you'd get then it's going to do something else so here we're going to go switch tch and we're going to use num for our variable and we've got a couple curly brackets here to in case the switch statement so now we're going to go case case zero now this is if the random number equals zero this is what we're going to do down here we're going to serial print ln and we're going to print uh, let's say that zero we're going to have red light so we're going to print out the variable red light light and if you if you uh, we have to have a break in all these and if you didn't have a break then it would hit it would go right down through them all case 0 case 1 case 2 case 3 however many cases you have it would keep on doing it we only want if it's 0 it hits that case 0 it executes the serial print and then it breaks out of the switch so that none of the other things get that executed all right and then right below this we're going to do case one and then we're going to serial print ln and we're going to do green light and then we're going to do a break and then we're going to do case two 
And we're going to serial print there. LN. Uh, and that's going to be yellow light. And we're going to break there after that. And now, if, if for some reason it doesn't come back with the 0, 1, 2, uh, then it's going to go for, it's going to look for the default. So you write default, and then we're going to serial print ln, and then we're going to print, uh, let's see, na. And that is it for our select, our switch case. So this whole thing right here is going to determine what you do by the variable that's sent to it through the switch num. All right, now we're going to delay for two seconds. And this should generate uh, random. You should see red light, uh, green light, red light, yellow light, green light. Should just be random. Let's try this out. Check this out. Compiling and uploading. Okay, here we go. Well, let's see. Green light. Green light. So it must be. It must have generated a random number of two for the first two, and then or one for the first two, and then two. And you can see here green would be one, yellow would be two, red be one or zero. And that is our switch case. So instead of writing all those if statements over and over and over, you can do something like this if you know what the answer or what the variable is going to be and you have different ideas for it. Like my Android app. A one, I go forward. Uh, two, I go backwards. Zero, I stop. A great way to catch the the integer value and then do something with that all right well thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and continue watching our other videos we're gonna have some cool stuff coming up thanks